we're going to discuss a very important web ethical hacking tool. Probably one of the most important tools because it's not only for vulnerability scanning where you gather targets information, but the processes and the tool used are also for hunting bugs and vulnerabilities. We'll talk about the concept of web fuzzing and we're going to introduce the basics of FPUF. It's not one of those available tools in Kali Linux by default, but it's fast and it's free and you can also install it easily. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada and I'm the internet. Action Star. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. First step to successfully find web bugs and vulnerabilities is to gather information. Good news, fuzzing is a way not only to gather information, but also a way to hunt for bugs and vulnerabilities. So what is web fuzzing? It's a process of sending wide range of invalid input to an application in HTTP request field. Basically, this tool allows us to expose web vulnerabilities by injecting attacks such as XSS, SQLI, authentication bypass, and many others. It's also a tool used in finding resources such as servlets, scripts, and many more. And it's also used for brute force attack. Can it replace tools such as their search and their buster? Yes. You can also use fuzzing tools to look for IDOR. In short, using web fuzzing tools is one of the easiest way to find various web bugs and vulnerabilities. FFUF is one of the most common web fuzzing tools in finding and exploiting web application vulnerabilities. It is not installed in Kali Linux by default, but most Linux tools are easy to install anyway. It is available also in Windows and Mac OS. FFUF is written in Go and is only available in CLI, but it's faster than most fuzzing tools, including WFuzz. Here is our web ethical hacking topology, and we have two nodes, the attacker and the target web server, which is the Hackit auction site. Our goal is to run IDOR scans via web fuzzing. So what is IDOR? It's also known as the Insecure Direct Object References, and this is when an application grants access and control to resources based on users' requests with no validation. To know more about IDOR, there is a dedicated video, so kindly check the link in the description below. First thing that we will do is we want to gather IDOR information, such as URL, parameter names, etc. Then we will run web fuzzing using FFUF tool. We'll execute an attack using the URL parameters and other information we collected. The end result, we should be able to successfully find IDOR vulnerabilities using FFUF. I'm here in our Kali Linux and let's test first IDOR. So I will open a web browser and uh, we'll visit the uh, PHP auction site 192.168.254.0 there you go then I will log in using student1 and the password of student1 as well I'm gonna click go now if we visit some of the pages like sell an item we can go back to home um, our control panel, edit personal uh, page, uh, what else? Even if I click some of the auction items, okay, everything looks normal, okay? Um, but, aha, uh -huh, look at this. If I go to this specific page, okay, if I click, what did I do? 
If I click you, uh, your control panel from the home page, you would see that on the URL, we have a parameter nick with a value. Okay, and uh, um, what if we change this value? Would it take us to other users control page? But how would we know what are the valid values of this parameter nick? We will use a buff web fuzzer. And will make it act like an eye door scanner. I'm here in our Kali Linux terminal, and FPUF is by default not installed, but the installation is very easy. So all I need to do is run sudo app get update, okay, and I will enter the password. And okay, so it's currently updating our OS. So it's done. Okay, now I'm gonna run sudo app get and then dash y install fpuff. There you go. So it's downloading and it has successfully installed our fpuff. Now, what we're gonna use is a command fpuff. Okay, so fpuff, there you go. And if I hit enter, it will provide us all of the options, available options and arguments. And as you can see, is actually have more options than wfuzz so let's do that again ffuff and then um one of the most important here is the dash w okay and the dash w allows us to specify the word list okay and um, the question is what word list shall we use so i will open or i will go to this second terminal of mine and we are already in the directory called word list if i run ls as you can see we have few more directories such as this, this their buster metasploit uh w fuzz but what we're gonna use uh for this ffuff task is the username.txt and let's concatenate usernames.txt this is just a list of commonly used usernames such as admin, student, root, test testing, user, support, uh, MySQL, operator, tech, etc. And we also have some of the common names such as Joe, Bob, Sean, Robert, Paul, Oscar, and many others. So what I'm gonna do is I will just copy this and uh, I will just paste. So I'm gonna paste, there you go. And uh, I will just simply add the file usernames.txt. Okay. Uh, next is I need to also specify our target URL. Okay. Which is HTTP. Oh, by the way, I use .shu to specify the target URL. And the target URL would be 192.168.254.7.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
for every usernames in our word list from Joe, Hari, Ubuntu, Testing, User, Juan, Tom, MySQL, um, Info, Stephen, Leo. So all of these have the same status. As you can see, uh, all of the samples have a status of 302, which is redirect. So something is wrong here. back here in our php auction site and uh, as you can see we are here in users control panel if i hit refresh there is no redirect and what i'm gonna do next is i will just copy this url link and if i go to other page such as help paste there is no redirect and if i click home and uh, click again your control panel we are able to access this URL. Again, user underscore menu dot PHP. So what really happened is we run this URL unauthenticated using FBuff. And here is the equivalent. So I will log out and uh, I will paste the actual URL. Link. So I'm gonna hit enter. And as you can see, we got redirected. So meaning we will only be able to go to the user menu page if a user is logged in and with created session. So what we want is to be authenticated or have an active session when running a buff. So how do we do it? Through the use of cookie. So how do we do it? Okay, how do we get the cookie? Well, there are many ways. Using Burp Suite is one of the options, but the simplest way is through the web browser, okay? So here how simple it is to get the HTTP request information, uh, including the HTTP cookies. So right-click the page of your web browser and uh, select inspect element, okay? There you go. And uh, from here, click network so we're not getting anything so we have to reload the page so from here you will be able to uh, see some of the HTTP request response and headers but what we're gonna do first is we need to log in so student one student one I'm gonna click submit and uh, all right so let's do that again spec element click network okay and if I hit reload okay we are now in the user menu page and uh, look and even if i go to any pages we'll able to get the cookie so here's the name and it starts with 2452 ends with 3348 it's the same everywhere you go or at least almost every page you visit so we're here at the edit data.php so if we uh, View the HTTP request headers. Are we getting the same value? There you go. Starts with 2452, ends with 3348. And the name of our cookie is session. So what I'm gonna do is I will copy and paste this value. Our cookie name session with the value. Back in our terminal. So now we have session cookie values. Let's test again our FBuff. And uh, this time we'll add option P. And this allows us to also add our cookie name and the cookie value. So I will uh, paste the cookie name value inside the codes or double codes. There you go. Um, okay, so we need to remove the cookie colon. It should be only the cookie name session and this value. Okay, so let's verify and this should be good. This is the URL, user underscore menu. We have the buzzword here, dash V, and these are the cookie values, the name and the actual cookie value. So I'm gonna hit enter now. And look at that. Okay, so we are now getting a status code of 200. No more 300, 302, no more redirection. 
Okay, and uh, look at the sizes. Okay, most of the sizes are the same range. So as you can see, most or all starts with 10,300. Okay, so 10,300 plus is the range. Okay, what else? Words and lines are all the same. Look at the words 1627. The lines are also 460 except for one user and where is that look at this okay so there is one user here with different number of size okay it's much greater what else look at the lines and the, the number of words okay it's larger than the rest so this means um this user is a valid user okay and what i'm gonna do is i'll just copy testing i i can actually do the manual type but uh, let's just copy and uh let's test so let's go back to our php auction and uh, let's go to i'm gonna close this one and we're gonna go to the user control panel and uh, instead of student nick what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change this i'm gonna paste okay and look look at that by changing the value of the parameter nick with a valid user uh, testing with the name of testing we're able to see this specific user details including sensitive information such as credit card number so we just successfully found an idor vulnerability using a buff web fuzzer is one of the most important web ethical hacking tool that you must be familiar with for you to be a skillful web security practitioner or a bug bounty hunter. So this is just the basics of FBuff. We will also talk about advanced topics like how to automate other tools and scripts based on the FBuff output in other videos. And we'll also discuss and demonstrate more fuzzing techniques using WFuzz and Burp Suite Intruder.